App Inventor is a great way to start making mobile apps. So the way you do that is you click Start New Project and you give it a name. So you, uh, here I have a list of all the apps I've worked on, but you probably have no apps in your in your list at this point. So just call this one first project F I R S T project, and that needs to be all one word with no spaces or symbols in it. And then click OK. Give App Inventor just a minute, and the screen will update to look like a cell phone in the center with some things on the uh, on the edges. This is the designed view of App Inventor. Without getting any like level of complexity, let's just change one thing about our screen. Make sure your screen is selected, and you can see under the components list, screen one should be highlighted. And on the right hand side, find background color, which right now has a, a white swatch and the word white beside it. If you click that, you should be able to choose any color for your screen background at all. I'm going to choose blue. So choose a color and make sure that your screen changes color in the background to ensure that we're getting our own app and not something generic. So this is just the designer. This is not the actual uh, the, the app as it's going to run on, on a phone. So you can either connect App Inventor apps to a real device using the companion or you can run them in the emulator which is a simulated piece of software that pretends to be a phone. So all computers that have App Inventor have an emulator installed and this video is going to show you the process that you need to go through to get that to run. The first thing you need to do is click your start menu if you are on Windows and then find AI Starter and you can just type AI and then hopefully AI Starter will pop up in your list of programs. If it does not show up in your list of programs, you need to talk to your on-site teacher about getting your computer set up for App Inventor. I have my AI Starter pinned to my start menu, so I just go up to the top there and choose it. And when the AI Starter loads, it will look like this. It'll just be a black box that runs by default minimized. And it's nothing for you to look at. It's just a tool to help your uh, App Inventor connect and run on devices. So once you have your AI starter running, then you can go to the connect menu and choose emulator. And it should say starting the Android emulator, please wait, this might take a minute or two. And it really does mean like full couple minutes. You should see a, uh, a phone or a piece of software that looks like a phone starting up. And this is like the world's ugliest, oldest, straight talk phone you've ever seen. And that's okay. So we're going to wait. Uh, the, the software is so convinced that it's actually a phone that it actually has to boot up. And you'll see on it that it says it's charging and it has its own signal indicator. So we're just going to wait um, for this boot to boot up and you'll have a similar experience on your computer every time you start the emulator. One tip is to not close the emulator once you have it open, but just leave it open so you don't have to reboot it. Another thing is, while it's counting down our seconds here, 11, 10, 9. Don't touch the buttons on the emulator. Let it do its thing. App Inventor will handle whatever needs to be done to unlock. Uh, just let it happen. Now, you're going to get a message just like I did that says, your companion app is out of date. If you see this message, it is vital that you don't pick not now. You have to pick OK. And this is saying the version of the software that's installed on your emulator needs to be updated. Just like apps, but uh, just like apps on a real phone, they occasionally need updated. So you click OK, and it says, we are downloading an update from the server. Please stand by. And now it gives you the instructions here on the screen. You have to bring your emulator back up by clicking on it down here, the little green man. So you have to bring your emulator back up, and then you're going to follow these instructions. So it says, the application you are installing will replace, and you say OK. And then it says, do you want to install? Install. And then it's going to go through a process, and once it finishes, you have to choose Done. It's tempting to pick open, but you have to choose done because it says here. All right, so now you choose done and you switch back to the App Inventor screen. Dismiss this with the Got It button. And the instructions were to say reset connection under your connect menu at the top, reset connection. 
and then choose connect emulator and the whole process starts again the thing is going to boot up and then it's going to do its countdown and then hopefully we'll see our screen with a custom color in the background of the emulator All right, now on your screen you should see your app with the custom color just as you had in, uh, in the design view. Now if we had buttons or if we had other things installed in here, we'd be able to interact with them. But this shows you the process that it takes to get your app up and running on the emulator, even if you have to update your companion.